Hello there, ScreenFlow users. This short video is going to show you how to create some of your own unique transitions in ScreenFlow. Now, of course, ScreenFlow has its own transitions, but they are rather industry standard now, as are the transitions in Keynote, even when you try and combine them. I like to be unique. That being said, to create your own transition effect, sometimes you also need a little creative inspiration. Myself, I often get that from watching videos online, TV shows, movies, movie trailers. I like to see how the professionals do their stuff. And, uh, you know, if I see something, I'll just sort of take a note of it, try and record it and analyze it. When I do see something I like, the first thing I always ask is, how can I do this in ScreenFlow? Can I pull it off? And if you think about it long enough, there is usually some way to do it. Now, case in point, I recently saw this video for, for Andy Jenkins Kajabi launch and picked out a transition that I really like. So I'm just going to play it for you here. Nothing else. Kajabi is pure internet marketing Ouch. technology. Here Reason it comes. Number two, professionalism matters. Let's face it. If you want to sell something on... See that? He had these gates coming in, closing on a subtitle, and there was a transition happening behind them. Nothing else. Kajabi is pure internet marketing technology. Reason number two, professionalism. Close, heading, matters. and Let's then on it. to the if next you want transition. To sell something online. Cool. I don't like how the gates sort of left. If they came in like gates, I want to see them leave like gates. So we're going to replicate that right now. So I'm just going to show you here quickly how you can do it as well. Firstly, I went to a uh, website and found an image that I thought would be good for uh, this theme for Blockhead Poker that I'm using. I'll post a link there for you, but here's a website, all these free images. They're actually, uh, this is just like a manufacturer selling uh, material, but great steel images that I wanted to use. So I think I grabbed this one right here. Yeah, that's the one. All right. Then what I had to do basically was turn it into a half size gate that was going to fit nicely across a 1280 by 720 video and uh, added a bit of a border and a shadow here. That's all I did. And all I'm going to do is just invert that into ScreenFlow. So let's hide Photoshop here. And this is basically a keynote layout. So I've got a table that switches to a heading that switches to another section. I want the gates to close on that poker table to open up to this heading. And then the heading is going to switch over to uh, some more text. So let's bring in one of the gates. Line that up. All right, so let's bring that right to the top. I just want to line these up, make sure they cover the uh, cover the video here right now. I'm going to move these again. I've only brought one image here, but I have to turn that up. So let's take that. I will just copy, and we'll line up another image, and just paste it right there. Control V. All right, so now I have two. And this one here, I'm just going to turn it right upside down 180 degrees bring it down here uh, but of course I don't want them to be in at the start of the video right I want them to come in because they're gonna have that dramatic effect of closing on my screen be a bit of a surprise as well so uh, I'm going to start them I'm gonna add a video transition to them but they're both going to start off the screen simple as that I should you know what, I'm going to just change the position of these because it makes sense to have the top one on the top in the workflow. And there we go. You know what, let me drop this down a little bit so we can see the whole screen. All right, they're both off the screen. Okay, so now let's just align that right to the top and then we're just going to add a video action to this JPEG file. Add video action, and the video action is going to end with this here. That's it. Let's add another video action to the. Oh, you know what? That's a little bit over too much, so we don't have to. We don't have to be that precise. We can sit off screen for as long as we want. Doesn't really matter. Now we'll add a video action to this one. And as you can see, I've sort of screwed up the alignment here already. So we'll just align those again, put them together. Bingo. Let's try that again. Looks pretty good. Maybe a little fast for a steel gate. So we'll just slow it down a little bit. Cool. All right. 
So just after the transition changes to the text, I'll be able to put in another transition moving the gate down, opening it up so that we can see the text behind it. Alright, so now we have to add the uh, video action here. Move this up. Of course that has to be aligned over here. Alright, let's see if this works. Boom. There we go. Except that that's not really aligned very nicely, evenly, so we'll drop this down a little more. Let's check it out now. Okay, both of them together. Close. Open. Sure. That's fine. A little shaky there, but for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to be particular about that. So uh, at this point, when I'd be going through the video, I'd be sort of uh, talking about this section, introducing this section, and then the gate opens up all the way. So let's now add the gate moving off the screen entirely. Same thing with the other one. Add video action. Line them up. Let's look at everything together here now. Close, heading, off. I really want to extend these ones now because, um, you know, it's just sort of that gravity pull. It, it takes more mechanics to pull that weight up. So let's drag that out a bit, make it look more natural. Cool. All right, so let's have a listen to this audio file. Alright, so I'm just going to divide that audio file. Uh, this needs to be a bit louder, so let's just change that right now. We'll copy it. I'll bring it over here to where the gate comes in. Starting to come in right there. Or I li I'm lining up the audio wave with the transition. Cool. I want a different sound now when the garage doors are opening. Make it sound a bit more realistic because doors sound different when they're opening or closing. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I'm going to cut that off right here. Let's copy that because I want and use a different version to highlight the second sound over here. You'll see what I mean in a second. But Okay, I'm going to trail this off, add ending transition, because there could conceivably be some sound of the mechanics of the gate after off the screen so let's make that effect see if it's realistic that's cool that's cool uh, now this one here I want to bring in because when the gate opens up here a little bit on the heading See, it should, yeah, there should be a sound there, so that looks good too, but uh, that's of course, is way too long because it sort of cuts off right there. So, and you know what, I'll turn the volume down on this one because it's just opening up a little bit. transition there. Let me s squeeze in here a little bit and we'll, oops, no, cut down that heading transition, move it in there. All right, let's have a look at that whole situation here right now. and then we go to my keynote display there looks good to me all right now you might think that's a little bit too much work what I like to do is you know if I've got something like this that I'm going to be using over and over again I just uh, copy all those elements so I've got them copied here right now uh, I'm gonna need transitions here and there so I'll just go to the transition area copy that paste it and just uh, bring it you know into another area where I need another transition and it automatically puts it there 
Not only that, you can copy this transition from project to project. So I can copy it here, open up another Screenflow project, and just paste it in there. So you can use it on uh, on different videos. So I hope you realize that bringing in these photo elements into your Screenflow projects, you're going a long way to branding your video, letting your production stand out and be consistent throughout a whole series. Uh, perhaps even using your logo on the transition itself, you know, types of different materials, wood, fences, curtains, you know, going from side to side rather than up and down or just one sheet right across. A lot of flexibility there to use your logo, your branding, and uh, any type of sort of character you want to inject into the video. All right, hey, if you want to exchange more screen flow tips, just follow me on Twitter. Search for Turtle Knife. Take care. And good luck with your next ScreenFlow project. Ciao.